All right, welcome to uh, my Let's Play of Peasant Quest. It's a fairly fun game. It's available on HomestarRunner.com, which is a big joke website with all kinds of uh, neat videos and everything else. Very quirky sense of humor, but it can be very enjoyable. So, here we go. Let's begin. Peasant's Quest. Look anywhere to play. Made by guys Mike, Matt, and Jonathan. Copyright 1982, Vid Electric. Needless to say, it was made <laughs> much more recently than that, but the graphical and uh, sound system is very reminiscent of early 80s uh, video games. So, here we go. Let's begin. Tips for morons. I mean, beginners. Here's how things work around here. Look around by typing stuff like look tree or just plain look. Talk to folks by typing stuff like talk man. Take items by typing get item. Use items by typing use item. You can also give item, throw item, or some other action words. Type inventory to see your inventory. Type save to save your game and load to load one. To save games, your browser must have cookies enabled. Press plus and minus to speed up or slow down your character. Click anywheres to start the game. You are rather dashing, a humble peasant living in the hum pleasant peasant kingdom of peasantry. You return home from a vacation on Scalding Lake only to find that Trogdor the Burninator has burninated your theft through cottage along with all your goods and services. With nothing left to lose, you swear to get revenge on the wingling dragon in the name of burninated peasants everywhere. You head east towards the mountains atop which Trogdor lives. That's a nice looking lake. start playing in a second here. Okay, go for it. Look. You've reached the mountain pass that leads to Chargdor's lair. A royal knight blocks the entrance. Look. Knight. He looks way cooler than you. Talk. Knight. You explain your situation to the knight. The Chargdor burninated your cottage and you've sworn revenge. You ask for passage up the mountain to settle your score. Hang on there, Trogdor killer, said the knight. I can only allow actual peasants of the mountain pass to face Trogdor, and you clearly are not one. Look, Dragonheart, you don't stink like a peasant, you don't dress like a peasant, and you're definitely not on fire like a peasant. Once you're those three things, come back, and maybe we can talk. Be sure to look around lots, talk to everyone you see, and ask about stuff. Type help if you get confused and inventory to see your worldly stuff. Type save or load to save or load your game. Duh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, let's start looking around. We'll go up. Oh, a river. Look, river. You don't even look at that? Look. There's a beautiful, magical waterfall cascading down the cliff sides. Let's go swimming. The waterfall would probably turn you into one of those weight gain protein smoothies. Well, so much for that idea. Look. Rushing river beside our back. So the old man says he needs better bait. We'll see what we can do. What's this? There's a ranch style thatched roof cottage here. There also what appears to be four crunchberry bushes, but you can't be sure. Well, let's search the bushes. You reach into the bush to snag some berries, but they'll just squish in your hand. Search bush. Man, nothing in this bush but squished berries either. Search bush. Too bad you don't want any squish berries, because hey, jackpot. Search bush. You reach into the bush to snag you some berries, but instead find a super trinket. These things are awesome. You have a sneaking suspicion that someone in this game will need this thing. No, it's good. Got ourselves a super trinket. Knock door. It's open, says a female voice from inside. Um, it's not open, but you get her drift. You open it up and head on in. Look. What a depressing little cottage. It reeks of a single parent. A lady rocks her baby in a chair. A modest, mostly open shelf sits against one wall. Look, woman. Typical pasty peasant woman, overbearing and judgmental, obsessed with goods and land. Look, baby. Peasant babies are pretty freaking adorable. 
This little guy's no exception. Look, shelf. Nothing but a bag of chicken feed. Look, pillow. Swedish foam, your favorite. Talk, woman. Hello, I'm. You start, but the lady cuts you off. Okay, here's why I let you in here, she explains. My husband got squished by a truck door. And to make matters worse, the insurance riches I got were stolen by the Jonka. Go steal them back for us and I'll give you something great. Hmm. Steal the riches back from the Jonka. Okay. Take chicken feed. You used to eat this stuff like crazy when you were a kid and your parents weren't watching. Which was all too often. You grabbed several large handfuls. Oh, maybe we could use the chicken feed uh, up north at the lake. I can give it a shot. Use chicken feed. Maybe try again from the center of the lake. Use chicken feed. You toss the feed into the lake. You shed a tear for each one. Goodbye, Monty, you sniff. Bye, Delga, Rasputin. Farewell, Cumbledon, and so forth. Ooh, they're biting now. Whoa, that crouched old man just caught a pant load of fish. Now I can get back to running the inn, he says, and rows to shore and hauls his boat out and cl cleans cuts and fillets all the fish and a bunch of other stuff we didn't animate. So now he should be back at the inn, actually. Well, what do we have in our inventory so far? Super Trinket. Super Trinket is weird. It looks like he could either kill you or make you the hit of your Christmas party. And a t-shirt. This has got to be your favorite t-shirt ever. All the times you had at Scalding Lake. Canoeing, fishing, stony heathens. What a blast. I'm gonna wash my shirt. Huh. I'm sure, I have to use that shirt for something. What is this? Look. Look. <laughs> a signal lantern of some kind hangs from a severely burninated tree. Look, lantern. It's unlit at the moment. If Fancy Pants Royal Knight probably lights it on night at night when Troggy's on the prowl. Take lantern. Better not. There's an engraved plaque on it that says, Do not remove under penalty if you die. Look, tree. Severely burninated. They could probably use some solve. Well, now the inn is open. Let's go talk to the innkeeper. You open the door and step inside. Talk, man. If you're interested in staying the night, just type, Get a room. Get a room. I only serve peasants here, fancy pants, barks the old guy. Where's your robe? Uh... Ask about robe? I wear my robe hood down so it's easier to... Oh. Wear my robe hood down so it's easier to trim my ear hairs. You need a robe. Maybe find someone that's not using theirs. Fair enough. Ring bell. Instead of ringing or dinging, it just goes dong. Look, paper. It says, note to self. Wave arms wildly. Look, painting. The painting of dogs playing magic, the nerdening. <laughs> well, we'll come back later. Alright, we've been here. Let's look down over this way. Oh, no, just that river. Look, tree. Really hurting for puzzle solutions. Climb, tree. And your hands would get all sappy. Fine. Won't climb any trees. What the? There's a really generic well here. Oh, and apparently it's autumn on this screen. <laughs> Look well. Pretty average. You're not a big well person. You're more into bridges. It does have a cute little bucket, though. Your dad liked buckets. Oh, and there's a metal crank, too. Mima loved cranks. You can just make out something floating in the water down there. Use crank. It won't budge. Maybe if there's something heavy in that bucket. Do we have anything heavy? No, not really. Super trinket and a shirt. I'll have to look around. Whoa! Look. I come across some kind of shooting gallery. There's a depressed looking archer at the desk there. Talk, man. Oh, hi, I'm Mendelev, says the archer. I used to run a shooting range here with my brother Dungalev, but we don't talk so much anymore. I haven't seen him in a junk his age. You ever run into him? Tell him I said, Haldo. You mean hello, you ask? Um, no, shut up. I said Haldo, and I meant Haldo. Tell him I said Haldo. Ask about Haldo. Ask about what? Ah, forget it. 
What is this? Look. Definitely half a lake here with a sandy shore. Those stones? It's a bunch of fairly substantial pebble pebbles in the sand. Take pebbles! You grab up a handful of fairly substantial pebbles. You make sure to get an even mix of sedimentary igneous and, um, surreptitious rocks. Also known as sedimentary igneous and metamorphic, but whatever. We're not judging. Look, bush. Don't worry about that bush. Yeah, there's red berries on it, but never you mind. Take berries. No, man. Jeez. Fuff. So bushy. Look, cattails. You don't need to look at that. Take, look, plant. Come on. Look. Uh, look, cat. Look. Okay, look, cattails, damn it. Take, plant. Probably wish you could get that. Fine, fine, fine. Hey, wash shirt. I don't understand. Okay, never mind. Oh, what is that? It's the Carrick, you moron. Get out of here. Talk, Carrick. Me llamo Julio, you begin. Seems only to further anger the already temperamental Carrick. That stupid learned Carrick in three weeks cassette did nothing for you. I don't know why we just said, my name is Julio in Spanish, but hey, whatever. Oh, we have stones now. Use stones. What do you propose to do? Put stones in bucket. You pluck all your pebbles into the bucket. The weight causes it to descend to the bottom of the well with a quickness. Use crank. The crank seems to have loosened and you haul the bucket back up. What's this? Why, there's a monster mascus in there. No doubt left over from the Pentagon ritual. Silly pagans. You wrap up the scary monster mascus. Man, this thing could scare a horse. That's a very vivid description. Scare a horse. Hmm. Well, uh, I don't know. Let's go over another screen. See what we find. Look. It's a dried out mud puddle. It's all caked and cracked like the kind that rock stars are always standing on. <laughs> ah, Kirk! Either way. What is this? Is this my house? The remains of your thatched roof cottage lie burning aid before you. You swear revenge against Trogdor. Look in house. All your baubles and trinkets, your flasks and scrolls, your goblets and stabs, burdenated! Looks like there's a piece of unburdenated paper on the ground. Take paper. You tuck it nice like into your short, short pants. Type map at nearly any time to check the map. Oh, cool, we have a map now. That's good. And there's a print feature, how convenient. <laughs> now let's go south. What the heck? Look, tree. It's weird and wavy. Climb tree. You don't climb wavy trees. Search tree. What the heck? Look man. Fairly naked man is peering out from behind that tree. Well, let's hide behind this tree. Look man. Do we have anything?